Next, I'm going to be talking about how to develop your logic model of the problem. This is part of your first assignment. The learning objectives for this lecture are to name the steps in developing a logic model of the problem and to be able to create a logic model of the problem for your program. So again, this is the model that you've seen before, um, which is the modified precede model, starting again at phase one and ending at phase four on the left. So this is the example that we was provided in the previous lecture. But now you're going to be using these to identify your own logic model of the problem. So in phase one, you're going to describe your target population and the quality of life issues that they're facing. In phase two, you'll identify the health problem and report on the prevalence, incidence, and distribution within your target population. Phase three, you will describe what behaviors contribute to the health problem, and also what environmental factors contribute to the health problem. And when I say environmental factors, this isn't just at the larger environmental level, but also at the interpersonal, organizational, and community levels. Then in phase four, you'll describe why the target population engages in these behaviors, and why is the target population susceptible to the environmental factors. So a few tips when you're developing your logic model of the problem. First of all, refer to the examples provided in chapter four of your textbook. There's some really great examples in there, and they flush out all the details of each of the phases, and they provide some really great examples. And also, I just wanna, um, remind you to go through all the steps of your needs assessment prior to developing your logic model. So try not to jump ahead and decide on any particular health problem or um, behavior, and especially not on any particular determinants or things that you're trying to change before you've gone through all the steps of the needs assessment. Because when you're writing your final paper, you're gonna have to be able to justify to me why you chose your health problem and why you feel like this is the most important um, problem and why it makes sense for you to go through all the work of developing an intervention to change this behavior that will then affect this health problem. So it will also help make sure that you understand your priority population, the health problems that they're facing, the behavioral and environmental factors, and finally the determinants. Here are a couple of references for this lecture and again let me know if you have any questions as you're working on assignment one.